everyone, I'm Mixed Media Girl, and today I'm participating in a super fun Valentine's Day themed collaboration with 10 artists from around the globe. I'm so excited. I'm actually rounding out the entire schedule this Valentine's Day weekend. So if you have not seen any of the earlier artists in this collaboration, they will all be listed down in the description. I'm probably going to repeat this a few times. Please do me a big favor and go show them some love. Go check out their videos if you can, at least subscribe to their channels. This is just such an awesome and fun, huge group collaboration. So let's have some fun. This is the little box that I got from, well, it says question mark, but from Lee, <laughs> um, from Massey Art. So first of all, I just want to give a huge shout out to Massey Art. They have made this possible. They did our super fun Christmas collab and, you know, just really helped put this all together. And I want to thank all of the other artists that have been on this collab with me. Everybody has done such an amazing, amazing job. <laughs> so much fun to work with all of them. So we got this little box. Now, truth be told, there were a few more chocolates. I ate some. We got cards and on the back of the card we got our colors and our technique we all picked different colors and a technique and they basically went into a hat pulled them out and we got randomly assigned these colors and techniques so i got magenta gold baby pink violet pearl white and a flip cup i love all of these things so i'm really excited i'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff out of the way we'll get right into the painting all right, I have a 10 by 10 gallery wrapped canvas here. I'm gonna be using my lowly Vefe bowl and I've pretty much custom mixed all my colors. So hopefully this is baby blue, look like it to me. And I've got a magenta here, I've got a violet, I've got gold, my pearl white. As I am using some metallics, I do expect to get cells and with flip cups, I generally want cells. I'm actually going to pour a little bit faster. So if I'm doing a tree ring and I don't really want cells, I'll pour nice and slow on the side here. But I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. And hopefully we get nice, lots of fun cells. I think this gold should definitely help create cells. Here's that magenta. And then the violet filling this cup up all the way. All right, I feel like this is gonna be pretty light because of the white and the uh, baby blue there. I put quite a bit of both of those. Look how fun that looks. Okay, so carefully, because this is really full. All right. Now this should be plenty of paint in here, probably a little bit more than enough, which is great because they do have these deep sides and I wanna make sure that it gets fully covered. With flip cups, I like to let it sit here and settle for a little while so that all the, you know, I put the white on the bottom and that can move through all of the other colors here. We'll be back in probably about two minutes, okay? Here we go. Pretty. Not a lot of cells yet, but let's give it time. I am going to go ahead and torch this because why not? Took me a second to find the torch. <laughs> All right. So this may help with some of the cells. Ooh, look over there. That pearl white is causing some really fun reactions over here. I'm going to go ahead and tilt. And a lot of these cells, I think, in here are going to be a little bit of like slow burners, but they will come. And I kind of wish I hadn't put, I had layered the colors a little bit differently, but that's okay. I think this is still going to be absolutely gorgeous. Try not to get rid of all of my pearl white over there. Okay, so I don't want to tilt anymore, so I'm going to just help these corners along a bit. Okay. 
So you can see these reactions already coming up through here. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up all of my signs and corners. And you know what, over here on this corner, ooh, look in my bowl there, look how fun that is. I'm actually going to just go ahead and pour a little bit of this. So that corner was missing quite a bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna tilt to get it a bit blender, more blended in. All right. There we go. I'm gonna let this sit here for a little bit. We'll see what comes out of it, what, you know, cells pop up, and then take you in for a close up. We're back. So it's a few more cells popped up in here. Actually not as many as I was expecting, but I love the nice soft delicate look of this. I'm going to bring you in for a close up. Starting on the lower right hand corner here. See that pearl. I love this lacing that I got throughout here. So pretty. And over here we have some of these fun gold cells coming up. I really love the colors in this. And I'm not a pink and purple person. I think it looks awesome. Now, because I'm pretty sure that everyone else's videos are going to be longer and I have quite a bit of paint left here, I am going to go ahead and do another flip cup with the same colors, but I want to see if I can get a little bit of a different result. So I'm going to layer these differently. I'm going to do smaller layers. I'm going to continue to pour fast like I did before, but I'm just going to layer these a little bit differently and I want a bit more gold. I feel like I didn't have enough gold in that last one. So I think this will be probably a little bit more what I was going for, though I do love how that last one came out. And at the end, you guys can tell me which one's your favorite. Okay, that should be plenty. We don't have the sides to cover really on this one. This is not the gallery wrapped canvas, just the regular. That back is a little bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. I can clean it up later. <laughs> and as usual, I'll go ahead, let this sit for a few minutes, then pull it off. Here we go. Ooh. All right, I definitely think this is gonna come out a little more like I was going for. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it again. Why not? And no silicone in any of these colors, you guys. It's just, just the paint. And sometimes these metallics can cause really fun reactions. And then how you pour it also can give you different reactions. And the metallic white definitely reacts differently than a regular white, just in case anyone was wondering. It's not, not even remotely the same, really. Oh, some beautiful parts down here. It's always hard to kind of maintain. And I'm actually, I'm going to do the trick I did on the last one, but this time before I tilt. So I'm going to go ahead and add... Some of this paint over here and a little bit on this corner there's nothing worse than trying to get it covered and tilting extra just to get the canvas covered so I want to keep as much of this down here as possible I am going to tilt it a little more to just blend in those colors a little bit but we're gonna be able to keep that purple there. And now I'm gonna bring it back this way, which will stretch it out actually even more. And a little bit back this way to bring out that gold. Okay, I think I like it. <laughs> I'll let this sit here, see what develops. 
we have some cool metallic white cells that popped up in here a little action over here we'll be back i'm back it was about i think five minutes or so definitely some more cell production in here it's actually hard for me to choose which of the two i like i love the lacing on the other one but i feel like i like the colors on this one a little bit more i like that it has more gold let's go ahead and do a close-up on this one so you can kind of see that pearl white it does not look at all like regular white it has I don't know, this lacy quality to it. Up here we have these really fun cells. Do have some purple lacing in here. A little bit of gold cells. Lots of fun. Nice and soft. This one's really like soft and delicate. <laughs> There's the gold. There we go. Well, there you have our Pour the Love collaboration. If you guys missed any of the other artists in this collaboration, please look down in the description. There will be links to everybody's channels and you can go ahead and check out their awesome, awesome videos. Please subscribe to them, show them love and support. Once again, thank you to Massey Art for setting this all up. Lee and Jeremy, you guys are amazing. And I can't wait for the next collaboration. I'll see you all next time. Have a happy Valentine's Day.